Hi, Katie here, and this is your Galco TV industry update. This week, we're talking about the latest news at Tesla, GE's big investment, and Machine Automation Day. Tesla is calling it the week that electric vehicles went mainstream. On March 31st, the high-tech automotive maker debuted the Model 3, an electric vehicle aimed towards mass market production. In just one week, the Tesla secured 325,000 orders for the new car. The key specs, 215 miles on a single charge, with a $35,000 base price before incentives. The long-range capability and Tesla's reputation for luxury, combined with a low barrier to entry, has generated an incredible response for the new car. A Morgan Stanley analyst notes there is no known precedent of this level of order interest for any other car. A company statement claims the 325,000 orders will amount to around $14 billion in future sales. The next challenge for Tesla is expanding production capabilities to meet the demand. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is confident that the cash generated by Model 3 orders will help expand their manufacturing operations in California. A $1,000 deposit reserves your order. And General Electric is betting big on 3D printing. GE announced the opening of its Center for Additive Technology Advanced, an additive manufacturing hub near Pittsburgh, PA. GE expects the new facility to drive innovation and implementation of additive manufacturing across the company. The new center will focus on developing additive manufacturing applications for all of GE's business ventures, including aviation, transportation, power, even oil and gas. 3D printing increases efficiency and reduces waste in the manufacturing process. Many firms consider 3D printing a valuable tool in efforts to make manufacturing more sustainable. GE recently partnered with the Department of Energy to use 3D printed turbines in a process to make desalinated seawater. With the new center's opening, GE Chief Productivity Officer called it a new era of manufacturing that will elevate the skills of our workforce, streamline productivity, and enhance product development overall. Advanced manufacturing accounts for 13% of all jobs in the U.S., contributes $13.1 trillion to the economy, and for every advanced manufacturing job created, more than three jobs are supported through the supply chain. The Organization for Machine Automation and Control has a new workshop in store for Machine Automation Day. The workshop titled PACML, Practical Approaches to Implementation, is focused on teaching OEMs, end users, and integrators how to implement PACML standards to their packaging line in a batch-controlled environment. Broken up into three sessions, end users and integrators will be treated to a hands-on session focusing on PACML implementation steps. The demonstration will show how information is exchanged between machines and units across the entire packaging system. For OEMs, the demonstration will highlight the Make 2 Pack approach. Make 2 Pack is a standard for designing machine modules and components that are easy to install in packaging systems. Attendees will see a full implementation from start to finish. And the final session will demonstrate presenting PACML to their organizations and managing projects when the standards are in place. Machine Technology Day is May 23rd in Chicago. That is it for this week's industry update. Make sure you tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.